Bitcoin is still above $50,000 and yesterday something really, really crazy happened for the first time ever and it has nothing directly with the Bitcoin price to do or that Bitcoin might drop uh, over the next coming days. It is something way more substantial that we saw coming for a really, really long time that we need to talk about today. And I will show you also some altcoin trades that I'm looking at personally to take here over the next coming days and I'm going to give you my exact entries for that. If you think that is interesting, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, you like this video and also activate the bell to never miss out on these important updates and obliterate the like button. The more you like this video, the more people will actually see it. Yeah, and that would help me a lot. So I appreciate it. And now let me actually show you what I found here. So and we start off with a report that I came across from CoinShares. And this is something really, really, really crazy. Like I said in the, in the beginning, we saw this coming for, I don't know if, uh, when I was, uh, since when I'm screaming this from, uh, from, the, from the roofs already, uh, that this was coming um, even before the ETF was announced, uh, we saw this coming. So let me actually tell you what yesterday happened. Yesterday, we had a total inflow of $1.1 billion, so that is purchasing power to buy Bitcoin. So they bought physically Bitcoin worth $1.1 billion. So why is this now so crazy that ETF uh, providers were buying $1.1 billion worth of Bitcoin? Because you have to look at the production size of Bitcoin on a daily basis. So how much Bitcoin are produced every single day, so available on the market to buy, and how much is $1.1 billion in Bitcoin in comparison? And that was something that has shocked me when I came across that. So one point, I don't have to tell you how much $1.1 billion is in, in Bitcoin, so I can roughly uh, juggle around the numbers in, in my mind. Um, it's roughly 20,000 uh, Bitcoins right now, $1.1 uh, billion. So now the question is, how much Bitcoins are produced every day right now before the halving? And you have to understand, after the halving, it, they are getting, again, the daily available Bitcoin that can be bought because that's everything that's getting mined. How much fresh Bitcoin will be after the halving every day available? For this, first of all, everybody knows 62 days we're away from the Bitcoin halving, and we are producing right now 900 Bitcoins per day. Now let that sink in. 20,000 Bitcoins right now are getting bought, potentially more or less every single day, but only 900 are freshly produced every day. Almost, oh sorry, I think I made a mistake there in my calculations, did I? I want to be sure, so I calculate now with my phone. Uh, 1.1 billion dollars divided by 50 thousand dollars so this is 110 million so this divided by 50 thousand dollars did i make a mistake oh it's 22 thousand dollars so that's uh, 22 thousand bitcoin uh, that's even more crazy so now divide this by 900 so that that means 24 times more Bitcoins are bought than produced. What does this mean? Guys, I, I spoke about this a really, really long time um, ago. The supply shock is here, guys. The supply shock is finally here. We are waiting a really, really long time for that. But the supply, uh, supply shock is finally happening. What does this mean? That means when we are entering a supply shock, demand is increasing, but the available Bitcoin is shrinking. What kind of effect does that have on Bitcoin? Only one. Price has to go up to make it interesting for people to get rid of their Bitcoin because they want to cash out so that more Bitcoins are getting available to buy. That's the only way how you can get more Bitcoins. If everybody starts hodling their Bitcoins, the price will just keep going up until some people will paper hand and sell the Bitcoins. So and this is something that we are experiencing right now. And potentially, 
a lot of people might be wrong about the Bitcoin price right now with that we might get a correction from $50,000. Because this is the first time that we see the effects of the supply shock happening right now. Here also to the ETF volume here on the daily basis, you see it here yesterday. Oh, this is today. Today or already $2.65 billion. So it's already more than yesterday. So you see how crazy that, that it already is uh, with the volume. So we are now at so over 50 times the amount of Bitcoins are getting bought than what's, uh, what's produced on a daily basis today. This is insane, guys. So and then you're wondering why the Bitcoin price just doesn't want to correct from $50,000. So it might be again soon coming the moment where you can just throw out your TA out of the window because just not applying anymore. Uh, like in 2020, 20, um, no, in 2017, where Bitcoin just kept going from 14, 15K higher and higher and higher, regardless what the indicator was saying. Um, TA was not applying anymore. There was no rationality anymore in the market and Bitcoin kept going up. This could be happening here once again, just on an institutional level right now. I'm not saying it has to, but if we keep putting more money into, into Bitcoin than getting produced and available on a, every single day, then the price will continue to go up without any stop inside. So that that's just... A matter of fact, you know. So, of course, I don't believe that, that we are going now straight up here, all the way up uh, into a new all-time high. We will for sure have a shakeout at some point, but for the time being, we could continue to go up here. And remember, I told you guys a couple of days ago, uh, or for a couple of days ago, uh, that we could potentially hit fifty-three thousand, fifty-four thousand dollars before we see here any severe correction, because the next bigger level is fifty-five thousand dollars for Bitcoin to overcome. So we could actually see Bitcoin rallying up here, and only from there get a correction. And this could be, even if it's a twenty percent correction, that will only bring us back to like the mid forty thousand dollar area. So somewhere around here, maybe that's after. Uh, um, so yeah, no, I believe that will happen before the halving. But then into uh, into the halving, we are again above fifty thousand dollars in my opinion. So now here on the liquidation levels, you see there's not much to clean up anymore and to liquidate on the short side, at least here on Bybit. Uh, so here's just this major level around fifty two thousand two hundred and seventy three dollars. But afterwards, um, there's Above us, there's okay. There's here one last man standing with two x leverage around fifty nine thousand five hundred eighty eight dollars. But I think he will not get liquidated, um, not in the next coming days, in my opinion. Uh, so, but be prepared for potentially fifty three thousand, fifty four thousand dollars before we get any severe correction here, just because of the first signs of the big supply uh, supply shock happening right now. If I go here to the liquidation heat map on Binance, here you see if we get to $50,560, we will liquidate $200 million worth of shorts and that could be enough fuel to propel us above uh, $51,000, which would lead to a spike to around $52,000. So here's then the next level, $45 million worth of shorts. Um, I don't believe that uh, there would be any short squeeze because there is just not enough liquidity above there. Even if I go to a weekly, you see there's there's not much. Let me go into a monthly. Yeah, you see, so it basically stops here at 52. Let me see on a six months level. Yeah, okay, there's something, but there's not really a lot of uh, liquidity up there. There's a really low liquidity uh, to grab if we would go into these levels. But like, like I said, a short squeeze to like 52 is definitely here in the cards right now um, if institutions just keep buying and buying and buying and outpace the uh, daily production of Bitcoin and make it harder to, to buy Bitcoin overall because also the exchanges are um, running out of Bitcoin. And not only that, the OTC desks, the OTC desks, have already no Bitcoins anymore. So, and that is actually the reason why the Bitcoin price keeps going up because now exchanges or OTC desks for ETF uh, providers are forced to buy Bitcoin on the spot market because they have no, they're not, they, they, they ran out already, you know? So the ETF providers, they bought everything what they had 
in an insane pace. And now, because they ran out, even the OTC desks have to buy Bitcoin from the spot market. Here on the daily chart, uh, we are nicely above the monthly uh, prior pivot here. Um, the EMA ribbon is spreading wide open. Again, I told you guys that's, that's what I would like to see. But also the price action is really far away from the EMA ribbon. So at some point, uh, we will come back down to test the ribbon here once again. Uh, we don't have to break under the ribbon, but a retest most likely here into the middle. Again, that that would be where I uh, where I would also imagine it to be around the mid forty thousand dollar level. Uh, but again, this uh, could technically happen after we touched fifty two, fifty three, fifty four thousand dollars, and then go here into the EMA ribbon around um, forty five, forty six thousand dollars in my opinion so i'm not looking at crazy shorts right now um like some other people that i don't want to name right now but if you look at twitter you you see who i mean you know so the inverse jim kramer of crypto here on the weekly chart i'm still looking at potentially taking a long uh, from uh here fifty thousand one hundred seventy five to fifty three thousand seven hundred still looking at this um, but I am also looking closely where I would like to enter on lower time frames. So just that you are aware of that. Uh, here on this daily chart there, um, I just want to point out here, the stochastic RSI is still pretty high. The RSI is also getting overheated right now, which is normally suggesting that at some point in the next coming days, we should actually reach the top and see then a, a correction from here. But again, um, we don't have to see a top until fifty-two, fifty-four thousand dollars right now. So I want to go here into a lower time frame. Just let me try to find the right chart. So here you see we have here some consolidation going on with an upward sloping trend line. As long as we are holding here above the trend line, I'm not expecting um, Bitcoin to go here into lower prices. Here you see our resistance area right now from fifty thousand one hundred to fifty thousand two hundred fifty-one. If we overcome that area, then we will break into higher prices. Uh, here on the 30 minutes chart, um, yeah, there we still have some room to go up here based on the stochastic RSI, but the RSI is going more or less sideways down. Um, that is a bearish divergence. Look at this here. So here we have a bearish divergence. RSI going down, price going up. Uh, so that is a bearish divergence on the 30 minutes chart. So we should be a little bit careful uh, so there could be really soon be a shakeout um, already be happening even potentially even before we hit uh, 50 to 54 thousand dollars so I just want to point that out so if we break here in my opinion if we would break here under 50 let it be here under 59 uh, 49 49 800 dollars if we break under that level most likely we are going to see a shakeout to like 48,800. But from there, we could see a reversal to make the final top for now and then turn around and go here into these support areas below us. So just that you are aware of that. So here on the four hourly chart, here is not yet a bearish divergence, but I think on the daily is also one already. And guys, don't forget if you want to trade with me together, uh, Bitcoin uh, calls and also my, the altcoin trades, then do this on Bybit or on BitGet. You still get $30,000 for signing up on Bybit and on both exchanges. You could be eligible for a crypto debit card. Uh, you have to check if your country um, can receive one. And if you just want to follow uh, my trades and basically make money on autopilot, Go to CoinW or to Fairdesk. On Fairdesk, you still have the highest bonus in the industry, $120,000. And there you can copy my trades without KYC, without a VPN. So just use the links here um, in the pinned comment and in the description below. And if you think you want to learn properly to trade and learn the way how I taught thousands of people already to become profitable, then go to amcrypto.us and buy one of um, my programs, I can guarantee you, you will not find a better program out there right now. When we're looking at the Bitcoin dominance and starting to talk about altcoins, we see happening here exactly what I was um, expecting, and that is a rejection from 54%. 
that's why we see some altcoins uh, mooning right now. Uh, I would like to see here some more follow through on the Bitcoin ones that we break here lower and altcoins massively start to run. This will be definitely the case. We just have to be patient. We need to wait for this potential shakeout on Bitcoin that could happen um, today, tomorrow. Uh, and then when Bitcoin goes back up to create the final top, altcoins will run at the same time because people will also take along the way their profits out of Bitcoin and rotate it into the altcoin market. So we see this already happening here to a certain extent uh, when we're looking at the total crypto market cap here because we just broke $1.79 trillion. I told you guys, I told you for a long time that this is coming. And now uh, if we are closing this weekly candle as it is, then we will rally to like $2 trillion in the next week. And that will, of course, uh, lead to massive, massive uh, profits in altcoins for us. And that's why I have to show you some altcoins that I believe going to run really, really hard here at that moment. One of them is Ethereum. So if you took here that trade uh, that I had given here two, three days ago, you would be massively in profit right now already. So you would be here... 5.72% in profit right now on the on the high point 6.6% more or less. So if you use only 10x leverage, you would be between 56 and 66% in a profit on that specific trade here. I still believe that we are touching $2,722 here, the technical target of that trade. Um, if we would stay above that level after taking out that high, I could see uh, a rally to close to $3,000 for Ethereum here in the short term. Um, and that, of course, coincides also with um, the Bitcoin, uh, sorry, the Ethereum spot ETF coming up in um, May, the decision for that just after the halving. So here, in my opinion, the ABC correction is invalidated because the highest point for the B would have been up here. The B cannot be higher than um, the starting point. So that is not possible. The B cannot cannot be something like this. So it has to be lower. And normally it's around the golden ratio uh, and between the 0 0.786. So we broke above that with a daily close. Uh, so this is invalidated for the time being. We m might get the correction somewhere else. Um, but uh, yeah, for now, this is invalidated. AVAX, here I'm watching closely uh, the $41.84 level. If we break it, then I'm also looking here for a new long on uh, on AVAX. And I'm looking then for something like this. Would set my stop loss. Ah, okay, daily open. Around the daily open. So here, 18% to the upside against the 2% stop loss. Almost a 1 to 9 risk to reward ratio. Amazing ratio. Uh, so if you trade here only with 10x, it's 180%. Uh, to the upside here so and of course if we would break higher and take out here these volume candles here around 48 dollars um, then we could actually break above 50 dollars uh, so but i'm not seeing it right now I, I i want to see what's happening when we are getting into that region here then another one that i'm watching is icp uh, icp looks like that it wants to run based on the indicators here the macd uh, is about to flip bullish. The RSI is uh, trending upwards. The uh, stochastic is going sideways but entangled here. So maybe in the next two hours we get a push here into the Monday high, which will also then give the stochastic the small uptick that we need um, to signal continuation to the upside. And once we are above the Monday high, that will be where I want to enter. So we just need two more percent for that, more or less, even less. It's like 1.2 percent i think let's measure this yeah 1.2 percent more or less uh higher for me to enter this and then i also gonna trade this this level here again daily open will be my stop loss or slightly below that something like this here 2.37 percent over stop loss 10 percent to the upside again 10x leverage is more than enough, 100% to the upside, 20, almost 24% of a stop loss here, 1 to 4.2 uh, risk to reward ratio, absolutely fine um, to take that potential trade here. And then I do something else here with that trade. As we go higher, I, I will keep this trade open. And when I see a correction, something like this here back down, because that should flip then into support this level here, I keep 
compounding my profits. As long as we are going up and as long as we are staying here above the 50 moving average, I will keep compounding my profits on every correction to the upside for ICP. If we are breaking at some point the 50 moving average with a daily close, then um, then I'm out. Then I, I, I will close the trade. I will have a stop loss along the way. For example, here the Monday low will be the first stop loss afterwards when we are here. And then if we go higher from here, and here's a correction, and then this here becomes my stop loss, and so on and so on. So the stop loss will be always a little bit floating between uh, where the correction ends and where I add to the position and where uh, um, yeah, a little bit under the 50 moving average. So that's uh, that's my plan for uh, for ICP here. Then LDO, LDO is finally mooning. I was waiting, I think, a month for this or even longer, maybe five weeks. My trade was open for like five, six weeks that I see finally um, <laughs> Lido mooning. So we are really close to our target here uh, of uh, $3.24. If we break that level, then um, I can imagine that we are going higher to like um, three dollars forty nine, three dollars seventy six, something like this between the lines. And why do I believe that? Because here on the weekly, the stochastic RSI is about to turn around. So the next two weeks, three weeks, should be really, really bullish for um for LDO maybe even four or five weeks you know so because we're just about to turn around here if we get a buy signal uh, at this weekend then this would look something like this and then we have like two three more weeks where we go up so this this can potentially go to four dollars five dollars maybe even higher than that so and um, yeah I'm basically waiting for this to be happening. That's why I keep holding my trade. I'm just a little bit underwater because a long time ago, around $3.23, I actually entered this trade. And yeah, so now I'm almost at plus minus zero at this specific trade here again. So otherwise, if you took it where I told you to, um, then you are a nice profits here and can just write this to the upside. Then r and uh, that is really mooning today. Um, I should have kept the trade that I had yesterday on it at, uh, I don't know, $4.77 or something. I got stopped out uh, here. Yeah, actually, I wanted to, to take a trade around $5, um, but now it mooned already without me. So it's 2% uh, already higher uh, than I wanted to enter because I believe here the extended golden ratio 1.65, 1.618 at $5.48, $5.50 is the next target here because uh, we have taken out these highs um with that move here already so uh i don't know if we were ever that high yes so if we are taking out here this high at five dollar 29 uh we will go and price discovery i think i think we were never higher than that ah okay yeah we were uh, six dollars 64 um when they launched but you see we are really close to going into price discovery for um r and r uh, and that could be because of a new partnership that NVIDIA announced that came out today uh, that um, r and is pumping like that. Then another one that I'm looking at is Solana. If Solana breaks in now above um, 114, yeah, basically where it is right now. So if it closes the, uh, a one hourly candle above that level, then it becomes a buy for me in 12 minutes. Um, and I'm going to long this to um, 100, I think $24 is the next target that I'm looking at um, here for Solana. You see here, we are about to turn around on Stochastic RSI. The MACD most likely will also signal continuation. The lower time frames, like 30 minutes, 15 minutes, uh, starting to be bullish here again. Yeah, just on the higher time frames, we are a little bit overextended, but it could be a nice scalp. Uh, so I believe there is a little bit more steam in the uh um, uh, still left for uh, Solana to go up here. SNX is another one that I'm looking at right now. Here I wait actually for a small correction because all time frames um, are a little bit overextended. The daily, only the weekly is uh, bottoming out here. So, but here shorter time frames will give us, in my opinion, a better entry if we wait a little bit. Um, and I'm looking at $3.50 for an entry. So um, here the, in the past it was resistance. Uh, sorry, here was support and it broke that support. Then it was resistance here. Now we broke it. So retest is highly likely. And from there, I want to long it then to the upside. That's what I'm waiting for. If we, for some reason, break here like $3.66, uh, then I will long it from there. 
But um, yeah, I believe for now that we will get a small correction and I get my $3.50, potentially even $3.37. So that's also a level where I would uh, add to my position here for SNX. Uh, yeah, and these are all the trades that I have for you guys for now. Let me know which ones you are taking. Um, I am again really, really curious. Uh, if you're not part of the Discord community, then become part of it. I start uh, tomorrow, potentially, yeah, tomorrow, a new uh, one to ten thousand dollar challenge. Uh, you only need a Bybit account with at least two hundred fifty dollars in it uh, and sign up with my Bybit link. You find that in the description in the pin comment below uh, to be part of that. And um, yeah, the way that I want to trade this, it can happen quite fast that we reach the ten thousand dollar mark. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash up the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you then again with more profits tomorrow.